Welcome to another edition of Getting to Know Your Leadership Board. My name is Cynthia Blevins. I was raised in Dunbar, West Virginia, which at the time was a small community based on church and family. If I think back, I can't really remember a time when I didn't attend church. It was at the center of my social activities. I remember as a child, VBS, actually some of the things and the crafts that we did. I also remember some amusing things, such as um, the children enjoying my mother working in the kitchen because she didn't water down the Kool-Aid like some of the other workers. When I got to junior high at that time, grades 7 through 12, what happened was we had BYF, Baptist Youth Fellowship, on Sunday nights and church afterwards. Wednesday night was youth choir. I'm thoroughly convinced that the only reason I was allowed to join was that my Aunt Wanda was the leader. And that's because if you know anything about me, you know I have zero musical talent. Another thing that was prevalent in the Kanoa Valley at the time was uh, church league basketball. Remember, I'm so old that it was back in the time when schools did not have girls sports. But we had a Kanoa Valley church league. So one night a week was practice and another night a week were games. So we were occupied pretty much with church all week long. After graduation from high school, I attended college at Radford, now University, in Radford, Virginia. There was never a question about what I would major in, education. I graduated with a BS in education and was offered a job by the telephone company C and P at the time in a supervisory position because I had worked for them during the summers and breaks. I mulled it over and decided no, I was going to go to my first calling, which was teaching. At the time, they were desperate for certified teachers. My whole interview process can um, consisted of walking in to the courthouse where the Board of Education was at the time, showing them my transcript and them saying, can you start tomorrow? I said, yes. And uh, where? And they said, Rodell. I said, I have no idea where that is. And they said, go to the end of the four lane, take a right and keep going. I mulled that over and I proceeded to say, I don't know where the end of the four lane is. I had moved here in college and most of the time that I was home, I was working. They had a teacher call me that night and transport me to school. For so for the next two years of my life, I spent at Rodale Elementary teaching some wonderful children, getting to know um, some wonderful people in a very small community who were really uh, blessed, felt blessed to have a school in their area. The coal company, Westmoreland, had built the school and we had a gym, which not many other schools in the county had. After two years, I went to Bradley Elementary where I spent 13 years. I then moved to Beckley Junior High and later to Woodrow Wilson, where I retired in 2005, 
Since then, I have substituted every year except the year I had my mother with me. I always get the question, which of the grades did you enjoy teaching the most? And my answer is wherever I was at the time. If I became complacent or um, felt the curriculum became stale for me to teach, I moved on. I came to UM Temple because I began to search for more in a church. More than saving my soul, more than teaching the Bible, more than a place to go on Sundays. I was saved at the age of 12, so I felt I had that covered. And I was baptized. I needed a place to challenge me in my Christian life to instill the Christian way of doing everything. I needed a place to inspire me to greater service for the Lord and also to allow me to impart to the younger generation my skills and values of Christianity that I had practiced. And I found that here at the Methodist Temple and more. Children are my passion. I truly believe my time spent teaching and working with children in the church has been my mission from God and a calling. The children are our future, the future of this church, the future of the world. It's a privilege to have a small part in their Christian education. We can always use volunteers. Come join me in this adventure of a lifetime. Whatever your interest, we have some areas for you in to serve. Folk, saw, uh, knitting prayer shawls, choir, handbells, discipleship classes, technology, kitchen crew, and many, many more opportunities. Get on board and serve. You get so much more out of it than you could ever put into it. When I first heard about the single board, I was intrigued and began to investigate. And then after attending a workshop, I became convinced that this was the way for churches to operate. It just made sense that one board could sit down and make the decisions for the church and not have to go through various committees. But it is a representative body. We represent you, the members, and the people who attend the United Methodist Temple. We want to represent everyone. We have a standards we have to follow, and we have a covenant that we have signed. We foster trust, respect, and openness with each other and with you, the congregation. We include our minutes, documents, and financials in connection points. Be sure and click so that you can review those. We've held several brief informational meetings and intend to hold more. We are always available to answer your questions. We want to do more, listen more, and learn more. The world as we know it is changing. It's not the same as we were when we were children, and it's constantly changing. The one constant is God and his love for us. Many people do not know Jesus and the peace he brings. It's our job to reach out to the unchurched and make disciples. UMT can do this in so many ways. We have a facility here that can facilitate many groups, many activities, and we can offer much to a lost and hurting world. We need to partner together and work together to reach out 
to the lost in Beckley and beyond. Open your heart, your mind, and your arms to the endless possibilities of what we can do. Let's join together to make our dreams of what the United Methodist Temple can become a reality, a place where God is honored first. Thank you.